Welcome to question number five. In this question, we're given this graph, the graph of y equals 2x minus 1 times tan 2x. And we're told that it has a stationary point, a minimum point here at p. And at this point, x is k. And we've got to show that k satisfies the equation 4k plus sine 4k minus 2 equals 0. OK, to do this then, knowing that p is a minimum point, we would expect the gradient to be 0. And to get the gradient, we would need to differentiate this curve. So we start by writing the curve out. So we start with y equals 2x minus 1 times tan 2x. And we need to differentiate it. So differentiating this is going to require the product rule because we have two functions of x being multiplied together. Now the product rule is essentially when you have one part which generally in formulas is called u and the other part is called v. We take one part u times it by the differential with respect to x of this part which would be dv dx and then plus v which would be this part times the differential with respect to x of this part du dx. That's the product rule. So I'm going to start to use it so it'd be this part 2x minus 1 put it in times the differential of this part here with respect to x tan 2x. Now to differentiate tan 2x requires knowledge of the chain rule and the chain rule Essentially, we let this part be, say, a dummy variable. I'm going to name it t. So dy dx is dy by dt times dt by dx. So we would have the differential of tan 2x, tan t if you like, is going to be sec squared t. So we would put sec squared t. But I'm not going to write t because t I nominated to be the 2x. So it's sec squared 2x. Then you multiply it by the differential with respect to x of the thing I nominated to be my t here, which was the 2x. So differentiating 2x with respect to x gives me 2. So that's the first part of the product rule. Then it's plus, and then I have to write this term in. So that's tan 2x, and now multiply it by the differential of this first part with respect to x. So differential 2x minus 1 with respect to x is simply 2. Notice how I write everything in brackets. OK, let's simplify this. The first term here would look better if we wrote the 2 at the front. So it would be 2 lots of 2x minus 1 multiplied by sec squared 2x. That won't need to be in brackets anymore. And if we slip the 2 at the front here, then we don't need to write the tan 2x in brackets. So it would be plus 2 tan 2x. OK, so that's the differentiation done. Now, what we know is that p dy dx, the gradient, is equal to 0 and x equals k. So we'll just write that in by saying that at p dy dx equals 0 and x equals k. So therefore if we put dy dx equals 0 we'll have 0 here 0 equals and substitute x equal to k into the right hand side we would have 2 lots of 2k minus 1 sec squared 2k plus 2 tan 2k. OK, now what we're going to do is draw upon sec squared 2k. Sec squared is 1 over cos squared. So in this case, this is going to be 1 over cos squared 2k. Multiplying uh, with the 2 bracket 2k minus 1, is going to give me 0 equals 2 times 2k minus 1 all over cos squared 
2k. Then we go on to the second term, tan 2k, tan is sine over cos, so this will be 2 times the sine of 2k all over cos 2k. Okay. Now this is a fractional equation and I'm not so keen on having uh, the cos squareds underneath here uh, and the cos 2k so I want to get rid of this and so I'm going to multiply both sides through by cos squared 2k. So 0 times cos squared 2k is obviously 0 and if I times this term by cos squared 2k then it will cancel completely with the denominator here so we'll be just left with 2 lots of 2k minus 1 and if I multiply this term by cos 2k sorry if I multiply it by cos squared 2k uh, the cos 2k here will cancel out with one of the cos 2k's in cos squared 2k and just leave me with plus 2 sine 2k cos 2k okay moving on Therefore, we're going to have 0 equals, I'm going to expand this bracket out now, so we get 4k minus 2. Now, we come to the second term, and hopefully you can recognize the pattern structure here. I'm just going to remind you, this is 2 sine of an angle cos of the same angle. You might recognize that as, uh, let's just, just put this over the margin. You might recognize it as the identity 2 sine a cos a. That's identical to 2 sine, sorry, sine 2a, I should say. Let's just rub out that 2 there. So it's sine 2a. Okay. And what I'm letting uh, happen here is a is essentially the 2k. So when we come to simplify this, this is going to be plus sine of two lots of a, a being 2k, so that's going to be sine 4k. Okay, now we're so close to the answer. When we look at what we have to prove, you'll notice that it's 4k plus sine 4k minus 2 equals naught, And that's just a rearrangement of this. So always finish in the form that was asked. So therefore we have 4k plus sine 4k minus the 2 equals naught. And there you have the first part, part A of this question.